final Girls B under the old two-class system. The Bulldogs, well, they are in the Girls B in the first year under the three-division system. The Region 3 champions are ranked third in the final poll, and they beat fourth-ranked Central McLean and killed there last week to claim the region title. We had a couple losses to two South Dakota teams, and we learned a lot from those losses. We had to mentally be tough in games, and they have become a mentally tough team, and we really think about the game and situations and things like that, and that has helped us out a lot, and they've come so far since our last loss. So, um, But I think even the district tournament was a turning point for us, too. I mean, that championship game was intense, and they had to be ready to go and do the little things right, and they did, and that carried on to regions. Excitement is huge. Our whole town is here cheering us on. The gyms are so loud, but at the end of the day, it comes down to staying focused and knowing that you have a job to complete. And our mission isn't finished, and we're going out staying mentally strong for the whole state tournament, too. Well, the Bulldogs say they are taking a little more sense of urgency with them to the state tournament this time around. This is really special to this group. Um, you know that we were the first group in like 15 years to make it, and now we're back again. And last year was like going to state was like the end of our season, but this year the state tournament, we know that we're not done yet and we have a bigger goal to accomplish. All of our guards and posts can be in any position and that is a real advantage for us all because we can all play any position and I mean a guard being able to go in and post, that's just a, such a strong advantage because not all teams are able to do that. The Bulldogs are the two seed for the tournament and they play the first game on Thursday against Maple River. Well, up until yesterday, Glen Ellen Hebron did not lose a boys basketball game to a Class B team this year. Tonight, the second-ranked team in the state has been knocked out of the playoffs. They have Hedegar Scranton to thank for that. The sixth seed beat the uh, number two-ranked team in the state and the number one seed in the tournament, 52-49. to Flasher also moves on with an overtime win over the Eagles. The champion, well, that was Bowman County rolling over New England, 91-58. to Region 2, this is a loser-out game. Medina PB against Linton H. MB over in Jamestown. The Thunder jumped out quick. That's uh, Tarek Kizzle, Kinzel rather, with the uh, three-pointer. It's a seven-point lead, but in the end of the first, the Lions go on a 10-2 run to get the lead back. This is Gentry Richter driving down the lane. He had a game-high 18 points. And then in the second quarter, Richter with an assist this time over to Caden Mossett, who's wide open. It's an eight-point advantage. And then in the fourth quarter, this one, Jace Jokum with the steal. He converts the Lions uh, up by 11. They win by 13. The final here was 60 to 47. Jokum had 16 points. Elsewhere in boys basketball this evening in District 2, the loser out winners are Lamore LM and Edgley Combe. Montpelier, that's the championship. The champion of District 6 is Garrison by two points over Wilton Wing. That should, was a good game. Loser outs in District 6. Washburn moves on. Central McLean beats uh, New Salem Elmont. And one other regular season game in boys basketball, Trinity over Watford City. Well, Century enters the state swim meet as the champions of the West Region. The Patriots have a good mix of talent on the roster. Our younger swimmers are very mentally strong, um, maybe some of the strongest on our team. So I'm excited for not only the leadership from our older boys, but from our younger boys as well. And for the team as a whole, just to work together. The state meet is in West Fargo.